Why have things been cancelled? What is your view on what's happened here? It's hard to know at the moment. So what happened was we emailed everyone who we sold out the venue very huge amount of enthusiasm for free speech, for the conversation that we were going to have. Now, the methodology is we get everyone's emails, of course, and then we send out an email with where the venue is located for everyone to come for the speech this evening. We also, of course, informed the police once we secured the venue. We had paid, we had an agreement in hand, and the guy who was in charge of the venue was very keen on, you know, free speech. It's an open canvas. You know, he knew who we were. He knew what was going on. Now, between the time that we sent out the emails and then when we were down at the venue, uh, something changed, something significant. This is a tough guy. He's hosted some very volatile acts. Uh, there's been riots in his venue. He's like a tough guy. So from going from being very enthusiastic about what we were doing to being terrified and hysterical and downright abusive, something happened in that hour, and we're going to find out what at some point, but did, we don't know right now. Did the, did the owner know that it was... You guys yeah, coming? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. How long? How long out did he know? Because they we had told said him that yesterday. They didn't know. In fact, he was probably one of the most enthusiastic venue people that we've had. He was saying this is an open place for free speech, uh, just congratulating us, like just absolutely enthusiastic to have free speech at his venue, and the way that he was on the phone to the people helping out with the event after the venue was released. There's something 100% happened. I'm very confident. He was terrified. Yeah, terrified. but is it, is it perhaps as simple as this, that as soon as it went public, so many people who are critical of what they say is hate speech, that's what they say that, that, that you're responsible for, just contacted him and he agreed with them and pulled the pin on you. To call it just critical is a little ridiculous considering there were events planned saying they were planning on attacking fascist. So it wasn't just critical. It's people that they don't want open inquiry. They don't want free speech. They don't want questions asked. They want to, quite frankly, shut down events that disagree with the popular opinion or not even the popular opinion, just their opinion. And it's it's very scary, especially when they call people like Stefan and I Nazis. To call someone a Nazi when they have no demonstrable evidence for it is to say we are genocidal individuals and of course that's going to cause a ruckus of course that's going to cause riots yeah but aren't you overstating this aren't you sort of picking out one or a small element of people that are referred to as nazis when what you've got is actually a large stream of opinion that thinks you're responsible for hate speech absolutely you know? not true no you've got to disassociate yourself from what goes on in the media and in radical groups from the majority of people the majority of the reception we got in australia was very positive we had tough questions in the q a which we welcome we went out to try and talk to protesters because i want to hear what they have mm -hmm. to say i'm into free speech i want a public debate so we went out yeah. let me finish we went out talking to the protesters saying hey what is it that we're missing what is it that you'd like to tell us more than that, there's polling that has been done in this country where over, I believe when I checked last, it was around 70% of people here agreed we should have the right to speak. So there is this radical minority that want to decide what the majority of people should think yeah. is hate speech and should be shut down. Well, well, what people say is hate speech is when you say that diversity is a weakness. Right, and the suffragettes would have been considered against the modern... Uh, status quo at the time. Individuals who criticized Christianity hundreds of years ago would have been prosecuted under blasphemy laws. I now criticize the religion of diversity and I'm considered but what, committing what, hate speech because that is the popular culture at the well, time. Well what I say to you Lauren Southern is that New Zealand is a diverse country. You say diversity is a weakness. This country is known as a melting pot. Uh, are you saying we're a weak country? Will you accept the diverse view that women should be stoned for the crime of being raped? answer the question. Will you accept the diverse no, view the that question, women should be stoned for the crime of being raped? Because that's what multiculturalism is. You accept all cultures. The question here is... You accept people of all diverse opinions. Is that a view that you believe should be included in this diversity? You're not answering the question. Yes, I am. I'm answering no. it by asking you, no. is diversity really a strength if you have to bring in views that are anti-women, views that are anti-democracy, views that are anti-free speech, views that go against everything that has created the most beautiful culture in the world, the West? The question was, New Zealand is a diverse country. We're known as a melting pot. Many people here are very proud of that. You are on the record as saying that diversity is a weakness. So is this a weak country? Do this you not a follow country? international politics at all? 
Do you know who else has said diversity is a weakness and multiculturalism has failed? It's Angela Merkel of Germany. She said this many years ago. Is she? Uh, this would isn't you say an, that this she's a purveyor? No, hang on. Would you say Germany. that she's a purveyor of hate speech okay. for questioning the cult of diversity? Well, okay. If you don't want to answer that question, let's talk about what you've been saying, which is that some races are genetically weaker than others. Never said that. Well, what, what, what do you say then? Give it. Give me your words. Then. It's not what I say. This is the most established metric in social science is IQ. If there's no valid test of intelligence called IQ, then there's no such thing as a social sciences at all. IQ, on average, is different between various ethnicities. On average, you don't judge individuals, of course. And it's not a matter of superior or inferior, it's just a matter of difference. This is well established. It is scientifically backed up by over 100 years of testing. Uh, Jordan Peterson has talked about it. I've had the, the editor of the intelligence, a magazine intelligence, Dr. Richard Howell. So, Hang on, let me finish. You yeah. asked me the question. Let yeah. me finish yeah. answering. I'm just, so, to, me, I'm, me, I'm just trying to figure out yeah, what... Let me finish the question and then yeah. I, you, know, you can ask me another one. So this is very, very well established. Now this is very important to talk about because as we have more and more of a multiracial society, the IQ test and the difference that various ethnicities test on that IQ test is highly predictive of how various races are going to do. So you're going to have East Asians who are going to have very high incomes and very high success rates in, in yeah. academics. Let me finish. No, and no, I then mean, you, have, I mean, you have whites further down, you I'm, have I'm Hispanics going, a little further down, then you have blacks a little I'm, bit further down on average. I'm going to now, interrupt you here. Yeah, I'm going it, to interrupt you here. You've, you've, you, you've got to show some respect. No, you I'm, asked me a question. Yeah. So yeah, am yeah. I allowed to answer? You, you, you blamed her for not answering a question. Now you're mad at me for answering a question. <laughs> Do you want to pick a side here? Can I let me finish very no, briefly? No. Ten seconds. No, no, Can I no, do ten no, seconds? No, 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 I'm not going to let you finish. Okay. Fair okay, enough. so, so last, just so everyone's no, I'm not, clear, he asked me a question, now he doesn't want me to answer yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not okay. going to let you finish. What I am going to ask you is last night you came into New Zealand, you stood under a Māori symbol. Um, many New Zealanders thought that what you were doing there was ridiculing. Uh, oh, because we made the people. funny action we made hero funny poses, poses what, what, after a man tweeted us that this what, gate was going to be a sign that we couldn't enter the country. Of course, we're going to troll your press. They've been very silly. This had nothing to do with <laughs> with disrespecting a native culture. Somebody just said it's impossible for them to walk through, so we pretended to be pushing our way through. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. Oh, it's not, no, no disrespect. I know you guys don't understand what humor is anymore in the media, but it's. If we have to explain the joke, it's a little less funny. So that's that's so, why you're not laughing, I suppose. Well, what was the joke? The joke was. Oh, oh that we so, not, you can't a joke. explain a no, joke. So the joke is somebody had tweeted that this was a force field we couldn't get through. So we pretended to be pushing as if it was a force field we couldn't get through because that was a joke that was made. Can you not see after your comments in Australia about the indigenous people that some people would see what you did last night as a sign of disrespect? Either no. way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People have come and they want to hear us speak. They want to hear our opinions. We should have the right, even if we were intentionally trying to be disrespectful, which we were not, we should have the right to in a free country. If New Zealand respects different opinions, if they respect true diversity of different opinions, uh, as you say is such a great, wonderful thing, then it should be no problem that we bring in our opinions that you find offensive. Well, let me ask you this too. If somebody made fun of, you know, like some of the tropes like white men can't jump or whites are bad at dancing and so on, let's say somebody made that joke. The idea that I would be so offended that I'd like faint and, and get angry and tweet, I mean, have a sense of humor about yourself. Are you saying that, let's say that we did want to do that, which we didn't, are you saying the Maoris can't have any sense of humor about themselves? That seems kind of racist. Are you serious? I am serious. Are you saying that whites can take jokes about themselves, but other races can't? No, all I was doing, and my question was, can you not see that some people might find doing that after what you said about Indigenous people in Australia offensive? I have no idea how to answer I mean, that question. I can't mind some read people, people are in New Zealand. By everything. Some <laughs> yeah, people yeah. are offended by everything. Some people were offended by women getting the right to vote. Some people are offended by jokes about the genders. Some people walk out of comedy shows. What does it matter? Why is this question relevant to the fact that our free speech has been shut down in your country? You were offended by me giving a scientific answer to a question you asked. No, I wasn't offended by you giving a scientific answer. I was offended by you going off on a rant rather than just asking a question. A rant? What do you yeah. mean? A oh, rant. so if it's an answer you don't like, it's a rant? No, no, it's, no. You know, it doesn't matter whether I liked it or not. I asked you a pretty basic question. You then embarked on, you know, in New Zealand vernacular, a rant and I got in because 
I was thinking of the audience, and I just wanted to stop you. Oh, from trust doing me, it. the audience is very interested in what we have to say. That's why we saw that event. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you speaking on behalf of the audience may not be valid. No, I was just sort of mon monitoring and moderating things on behalf of the audience. Okay. Is that okay? It's your show, man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So in terms of that, is it not fair um, for people in New Zealand to oppose you? Is it not fair for the mayor of Auckland, who's elected, to stop you coming from venues which, in effect, he's in control of? And is it not fair um, for today's venue owner to decide not to have you there? No, that, neither of us have that, disagreed but, with the fact that people can oppose us. In fact, we welcome it. Yeah. We have an open yeah. Q&A at our events. I've gone out to speak with protesters at my events. I'm, so the, the open inquiry is what has made the West the greatest civilization in existence because we are able to come to the greatest conclusions yeah. by debating all ideas. So if we get to that open inquiry, I mean, this idea of that, it's simple, isn't it? You can't find a place. People are free to stop you from going into their venues people are free to oppose No, you. no, see, now, if you but say, you know, because well, we had paid and we had an agreement with the guy. Yeah. Now, you wouldn't like it if the bank phoned you up no, and said, hang not. on, let me finish. Yeah. You wouldn't like it if the bank phoned you up and said, hey, Patrick, we found a better price for your home, so we're kicking you out tomorrow. And you'd say, well, no, no, we have a, we have a deal. We signed, yeah. we have a deal, right? And, so, you're, and, and you're welcome to go away and enforce that contract. You are absolutely welcome to go away under New Zealand law and enforce that contract if there is one. But still, you know, that's a choice that's been made. I don't understand what you mean. Yeah. It's a choice, sure. That doesn't mean it's the right choice. It's yeah. a choice, great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can so? have a choice to, you know, you, <laughs> yeah. could cho you could choose to kick a homeless man. That doesn't mean that it's right. <laughs> yeah, but that's a straw man argument that you're putting up there. Contract is the foundation of civilization. We have contracts, we have agreements, we pay people yeah. so that we have predictability in our economic affairs. It's yeah. very civilized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're welcome to go away and try and enforce that, I'm sure. And I mean, will you? What kind of action will you take then? Well, yeah, that's I mean, something we're going to decide as time goes on. Yeah. Are you intending on taking some sort of action in, in terms of the fact that it's been stopped? Well, we will decide that as we go forward. You know, we're in a kind of hurly-burly situation right now. You know, we just got cancelled. We've done a whole lot of successful events in Australia. This is the first time this has happened. So things are a little topsy-turvy right now. Okay. And... In terms of that, I mean, your own promoter has said that, you know, um, he feels that powerful forces uh, have got to the owners of tonight's venue. Do you, do you guys agree with that? What, what do you think's happened? I don't recall having a promoter, but uh, <laughs> uh, I don't sorry. know where you guys get these terms. But um, so, yeah, sorry, I, I, Carolyn, I it doesn't Carolyn, matter. Carolyn. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there are uh, certainly individuals that don't want us to be here, and that's demonstrably true. There are individuals within the government that don't want us to be here. There are individuals uh, that are willing, have said they want to attack the event. So powerful forces, whether that means one individual who wants to commit an act of terrorism, which means violence for the for purposes of politics, or an individual who wants to abuse their position of power in government to stop free speech. Yeah, that's powerful forces, I'd say. Yeah, but isn't it more likely that it's more basic than that? That it's just that the venue owner just kind of didn't want you there. You're asking, you would us, like to, it you're, that. You're, you're asking <laughs> us to th theorize on an unknown, but I think when somebody no, goes, just, hang on, science, when somebody goes 180 in the space of one hour, usually that's because some other factor has come in yeah, to but influence it, their decision. But it might, but be something, it might be something a lot simpler than yeah, He might have been beamed up by space aliens and replaced with a replicant. I don't know. We'll theorize okay. as we stand, but we well, don't know. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it. I appreciate the yep. venue. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. God bless. Thank you.